All right, we're looking at uh, multiplying these radicals here. And both of these are imaginary numbers because they have a negative underneath the square root sign. So let's look at this if we just take it uh, one step at a time, essentially. Okay, we're going to write this out. This is the same thing here as the square root of 20 times the square root of negative 1. Okay, and then our negative 2 is the same thing as the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite that. I know the square root of negative 1 is i. So I'm going to rewrite that i square root of 20 times i square root of 2. All right, now let's multiply these two. We can multiply what's in front. So i times i gives me i squared. i squared times the square root of 20 times 2. 20 times 2 gives me my square root of 40. So I've got i squared square root of 40. Well, we know what i squared is. Okay, i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 times the square root of 40 is just negative 1 square root of 40. All right, so now we've got the square root of 40. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to bring it right back up top here. So I've got negative square root of 40. I can do my factor tree on this. 40 is the same thing as 4 times 10. 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. And 10 is the same thing as 2 times 5. Okay, so I've got negative square root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. All right, now I take these two. I, I've got to bring them out in pairs, and I can bring it to the outside. And when I bring it to the outside, I only bring one of them out. So that's going to be negative 2 square root. And what I'm left on the inside is 2 times 5, which is 10. So 2 square root of 10, negative 2 square root of 10 is my answer on this one.